Ever since I purchased the original Echo Show in 2017, I've known that I was sold on the Alexa, but at a screen concept. After about a year and a half of owning the Echo Show 15, I'm convinced this is the best one to date for many reasons, but primarily because of its ability to be wall-mounted and the upgraded 15-inch size. While the launch price of $250 was a bit egregious for what you were getting, this video should be launching right around Prime Day this July. And as history has shown us, a lot of the Echo devices tend to go on massive sales. I'll make sure to link everything I mentioned below in the description so you can check the updated prices. The Show 15 really shines in the kitchen. It's amazing for catching up on your latest Prime or Netflix shows, or simply watching YouTube like you are right now. Although the YouTube capability is a bit odd. It produces a virtual remote like a Fire TV remote on screen, something that you can also pair or buy in a bundle. Although voice commands are still supported like fast forward one minute, for example, so it isn't that big of an issue. The Show 15 is an excellent companion for baking or cooking or for a drink recipe, especially now with the bigger size. It makes looking up highly rated recipes a breeze. It even has videos of the steps integrated at a moment's touch. For the ingredients lists, you can easily add them to your shopping list, which then can be purchased directly on Amazon Fresh or exported for your next groceries trip. They get added to your shopping widget on the front screen directly. Segwaying into widgets, this is another nice feature of the Show 15. In the year and a half since I've owned it, there are a multitude of widgets that have shown up. I'll list some of my favorite ones in the video description. Here's an example of an ambient one you can set for different moods, depending on the current season, or perhaps the season you wish it was. Part of the appeal for me was also that this Echo Show could be wall-mounted as opposed to my original one that took up counter space and had a tiny 7-inch screen. One small annoyance about the wall orientation is that when you have it in landscape mode like I do, the volume buttons are reversed. The right button turns the volume down. This is because it's normally set for portrait mode. This could have easily been remedied if the software used the orientation of the gyro to set the buttons properly or if the Show 15 had support to flip it 180 degrees in the other direction. Something that also perplexingly isn't supported as of this video release. Small gripes aside, having this thing wall mounted is awesome. A lot of people that come over ask about it since it results in such a clean mounting solution and looks like a smart frame of some sort. I do wish it was a little more flush to the wall, but understandably, that would likely reduce the audio quality as the speakers would have to be narrower. I'll discuss the audio quality a little more later. The 1080p resolution matches the 15 inch screen size perfectly in my opinion. At the distances you'll typically be viewing it from, it would be hard to distinguish full HD content from WQHD or 4K. Those resolutions would have driven up the cost further too. Now that it's wall mountable, that opens up the opportunity for other solutions as well like foldable mounts under cabinets and tilt stands as well that can implement the 100x100 VESA solution they now offer. You can get solid video call performance and photo booth pictures with proper lighting, but it's odd that Amazon skimped on the camera here. Camera quality is subpar when compared to the Show 8 and 10 that have 13 megapixel sensors. This one has a five megapixel shooter that lacks auto framing capabilities and digital tracking. Getting back to the audio quality, for music, the Echo Show 15 can't put out much depth or detail because of its narrow physical design. It features two 1.6 inch drivers, which are smaller than the two inch drivers in the Echo Show 8, not to mention the Echo Show 10's three inch woofer and two one inch tweeters. Expect sound that is suitable for idle listening despite its lack of bass power, but not appropriate for fully experiencing music or powering a party. Fortunately, the drivers won't distort at maximum volume. Tracks with less sub bass will sound better overall. The balance clearly favors mid highs and highs generally. It's maybe on par with the Echo Dot Gen 4. This is simply because of the new form factor. If you're looking for great audio, this isn't for you. 
I don't mind the quality as when I play music on my Alexas, it's normally because of the convenience of being hands-free and grouping it together with all of my other speakers for a nice full ambient sound. If I'm looking for good quality, I'll play music on my apartment sound system, which is all wired and has much larger speakers. With the Show 15, I think they really intended it to be a solid smart home hub. I can have it control my smart shades, it can start my robot vacuum or send it back home if Wally's being a bit too invasive. I can control all the lights or turn the TV on, all with my voice. Alternatively, I can use the smart widgets to do the same and sometimes they provide additional relevant settings or data. Since I live in an apartment, I don't have a Ring camera, but from what I've seen and researched, the Ring integration appears to be very good and would be quite appealing if I lived in a house. Additionally, they've added visual ID as well as voice ID to display targeted data if you live with multiple family members or have roommates. Of the six Alexas I own in my apartment, it's certainly my favorite and the one that I use the most as my kitchen companion. I hope this provided you with some brief insight into my long-term ownership. If you'd like to see more smart home content, uh, here's a video for you to check out. For future smart home content, please consider subscribing and a like would be much appreciated if you found this video helpful. I'll catch you in the next one.